Good news is it's so low. You know, you can't actually get to the rim. It's got those high performance coil over shocks on it, though. That you can see from inside the trunk. That way you know it's going to corner good. Yeah. It's also got that wide body flare to it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, it's going to need. It's going to need some stuff. I don't even know where he grabbed it. I think we could probably push it. Yeah, because okay. this thing's lighter because it's not the frame weight. There's a lot of crunching going on. Don't scratch it. <laughs> We're doing something. With something. I mean, here, we got, Lord. <laughs> yeah, all right. Right in there, we're pretty much dead on. Whew. Yeah. Pushing. But yeah, squat down this side. It's actually three wheels. Crazy how balanced that is. Yeah. Weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy. Like it just, it wants to already. Shit. So I think uh, a couple cans of turtle wax, a little bit of coat hanger welding a little bit of rust repair i mean there's gonna be a touch of rust repair you know like there's that little bit of rust there it's a little bit here and there's you know there's that stuff that piece came out and there's that stuff, you know, like, I get it. It looks bad. It looks, it looks real bad. And it, it looks that way just because it is, it is really bad. I mean, so what am I doing with this thing? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe doing a body drop rat rod type deal with this thing because I mean, let's be honest, it's a four door. 59 that's this rusty you're not going to spend twenty thousand dollars in sheet metal to fix this car up i mean it's got rust in very weird places this thing is it's left for dead and rather than completely kill this thing and part it out which really there isn't that many good parts on it that works with you know a two-door or something like that. 
most of these parts are four door specific. You got some dash pieces and stuff like that, but like the the fenders and stuff are pretty rough. But I'm always kind of drawn to these oddball cars. People look at this like, what in the hell are you doing with this car in your shop? I'm just, I don't know. I, I do what I want. <laughs> I do whatever uh, makes me feel motivated. Um, and this, this project's probably a little bit crazy, which is okay. But I'm always kind of drawn to these misfit, oddball, left for dead cars because, I mean, they're just cool. They're cool to me. So I try to save them. And the best way that I know how to do that works with that works with my budget and my abilities and my time frame. Um, and for me, I might I might just you know cut some of the rust off the bottom, cut the rockers off of this thing, and put another frame. I got an X frame, like a, a completely redone roller outside. Um, I'll just throw that thing underneath here. Make some new body mounts for it. As you can see, I already shaved. The back panel cut all the rust off of that so it's getting less and less rusty the more i cut so i think i'm gonna keep going with that and it'd be a good car to body drop down on a frame make some custom body mounts and just make this thing drag on the ground because i think that's its only that's its only hope for getting back on the road which is okay It is an Impala, though, which is cool. It's not a Biscayne. Um, been sitting since 1973. Found this chassis in my junk pile. So we're going to go ahead and set it on this one. Way more better than the other one. Perfect. <laughs> 